Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Undertale. So in the last episode, we made it here to the underground. We met Toriel, and she was so kind to us. On Mother's Day, she showed us kindness, let, her, let us enter her home, baked us a pie, and just was generally warm to us. On this episode, we're going to go talk to her and see what we can do about this place, because... It's kind of small, isn't it? Oh, hello. Did you want to hear about the book I'm reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Uh, sure, why not? Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails sometimes flip their digestive systems as they mature? Interesting. Well, bother me if you need anything else. I think it's important that we mature and grow fully. Any mother would want that, right? So we're going to need to know how to enter this new world. We can't be cooped up here forever. We're strong. I have something to do. Stay here. Aww. Alright. I'm sure this is the only place we haven't been, so she must have headed down here. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. <sighs> Toriel. This is hard for me, but I can't. You're about to shut off any chance I have to spread my wings. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I've seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I'm only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. Sorry, but I can't do that. You underestimate me. I'm much stronger than you could ever imagine. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. Toriel, you really don't understand me, do you? Whenever anyone tells me how to do something, that just makes me want to do it more. I'm that kind of child. You want to leave so badly? <laughs> You're just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove it to me that you're strong enough to survive. Toriel blocks the way. That's why I decided to end it there, guys, last time. I couldn't bring myself to do this, not on Mother's Day. Not to fight Toriel. But here we are. And honestly, <laughs> I have no intention of fighting you, Toriel. Like that person said back in the ruins, sparing just means you refuse to fight. Man, I'm being hit a lot, and I'm gonna die for this. Prepares a magical attack. Toriel prepares another magical attack. Ow. Looks through you. What are you doing? Toriel looks through you. Attack or run away! What are you proving this way? Toriel's acting aloof. Fight me or I'll leave! Stop it! Stop looking at me that way! Toriel takes a deep breath. Go away! Toriel looks through you.
Corio's acting aloof. I know you want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. I promise they'll take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. Mm, she looks sad. Also, are her eyes red? Did I not notice that before? <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be in happy trap down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I'll put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Oh. Goodbye, my child. Our determination got us through it. Toriel let us go. And if you try to call her, nobody picks up. Sadly, Toriel will no longer speak to us. She will not show her face in front of us. She wants us to move forward, to grow, and to run. To make it all the way. And that's what we'll do. Once we get to the lung of this hideously the long, the end of this hideously long hallway. Clever. Very clever. <laughs> you think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die, until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world, and let me inherit the power to control it? I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. And that's Flowey, everybody! Yay! <sighs> All right, guys. We are officially back, huh? There's a camera hidden in the bushes. Why is there a camera hidden in the bushes? What? <laughs> That's odd. Uh, that should be fine. So guys, that was the entire prologue. So now as we move on to this deep, dark forest. Uh... It's been smashed like it was nothing. Hmm. Awesome. Amazing, really. Um. That's worrying. Oh, God, this is actually a RPG horror game, isn't it? Human, don't you know 
how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. <laughs> the whoopee cushion the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyway, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans, Sans the Skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now, but, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made it the far as too wide to stop anybody. Quick, find that conveniently shaped lamp. That's right, there's a lamp in the exact shape of our body and head. Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles! You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp? It's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that! What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready! I will be the one! I must be the one! I will capture a human! Then I, the Great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve! Respect! Recognition! I will finally be able to join the Royal God! People will ask to be my friend! I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning! Huh. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans! You are not helping, you lazy bones! All you do is sit around and boondoggle! You get lazy and lazy by the day! Hey, take it easy. I've got a ton of work to do today. A skeleton. <laughs> Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it! Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone. <laughs> ah, I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> oh, that made me smile. Okay, you can come out now. That's right. That is Sans and Papyrus. Two very amazing, amazing and fantastic characters. <laughs> um, just a conveniently shaped lamp. All right. You ought to get going. He might come back, and if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. What's the holdup? Look, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's just a dark cavern filled with skeletons and horrible monsters. Well, you ought to get going. He might come back and eat the dad. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna... Actually, hey, hate to be bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might make... Might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I hope be just up ahead. All right. Well, I guess I will head back this way and interact with things. Maybe, maybe that camera has something different about it now. So I didn't notice anything. Sap. Oh, hey, Sans is gone. He's not at his workstation anymore. It seems to be some sort of checkpoint or sentry station, but there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. I guess Sans, uh, is kind of a lazy bones. <laughs> the convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. All right. This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Use the box? Yes. Uh, I'm going to store this. Store this. Uh, store this. 
and take out the tough glove. Actually, no, store the tough glove, and I'll keep the monster candy just in case. Oh, hey. Snowdrake flutters forth. Um, let's check it out. Snowdrake attack 12, defense 7. This team comedian fights to keep a captive audience. My fave ice cereals. Frosted. Alright, smells like a wet pillow. Well, I'm gonna laugh at its joke. You laugh at Snowdrake's pun. See? Laughs. Dad was wrong. Okay. Pleased with its cool joke. And I won. I got 12 gold for that. See? As you can tell, it's best to grind out here if you're gonna be grinding at all. But you need to grind in that first area if you want some of the interesting items that you... I don't know if you need those later. I like to have at least one of every item. I just know that I don't think you need the monster candy for anything, hence why I'm actually going to use it. I think I heard somewhere about needing to keep those items in particular for later. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Yeah, sure. All that's attached at the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me! Here's my number! You decide not to call. Am I sure? You send the line back out. Um, not gonna call, but I'm still gonna try to call Torio. Nope, no one picked up. Oh, well, I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure she's doing alright. So, as I was saying about Undyne... Huh? <laughs> They're literally just spinning. Oh my god! Is that a human? Uh, yeah, actually, I think that's a rock. Oh! Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! Is, is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sans, I finally did it! Undyne, well, I'm gonna... I'll be so popular, popular, popular! Human, you shall not pass this area! I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you! I will then capture you! You will be delivered to the capital! Then, then, I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue only if you dare! Yeah! Well, that went well. Excuse me. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. Huh. Cool. Ice cap struts into view. Um... Complimented, I guess? You inform Ice Cap that it has a great hat. Envious? Too bad. Ice Cap also wants a hat for its nose. Let's ignore it, I guess? You manage to tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. It looks annoyed. What? What are you doing? Okay. I'm going to ignore it again. You continue not looking at Ice Cap's hat. It seems defeated. Fine! I don't care! Oh, god, apparently this hit you on the way down. It's desperate for attention. And I spared it. 13 gold for that. I got hit though, so that kind of sucks. Absolutely no moving. Alright. Wait, did I interact with that previous checkpoint thing? There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observe the well-crafted sentry station! Who could have built this, but... Who could have built this, you ponder? I bet it was a very famous royal guardsman! No, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. Huh? There's a camera behind the sentry station. What's with these cameras? Am I on reality TV? So I can't get behind this sentry station. Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Doggo blocks the way. Um... 
I'm gonna check it out, I guess. Doggo, attack 13, defense 7. Easily excited by movement. Hobbies include squirrels. Don't move an inch. So, the way this works is blue attacks do not hit you if you're not moving. If you do move, then you will be hit by them. It sucks, but if there's a blue attack, let it hit you while you're not moving and you will completely dodge it. If there's a white attack, be sure to dodge, you know, normally. And there are other kinds of attacks, like the green attack before, that heals you rather than hurting you. It's different attacks. There are different ways, I guess. Doggo can't seem to find anything. Pet it. Oh, I accidentally pressed. You pet Doggo. What? I've been pet. Pet, 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 pot, pot, pet, pet, pot, pet, 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 pot, pet, pet. Doggo has been pet. Now let's spare him. Got 30 gold. S something pet me. Something that isn't moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. Hello? Is anybody there? No? Are you two playing a trick on me? Real funny. Sands of Papyrus, I'm guessing? Big guy? Is that you? Come on. Well, it's not worth- it's not the tall skeleton, he's too loud. Whoever you are, knock it off! Whoopsies. I think that's probably the end of it. Okay, cool. Now, I'm gonna go back because I want to check one last thing back here. I'm sorry for wasting everyone's time so much. But it's important for my own well-being. Oh, lesser dog. Uh, <laughs> I guess I will pet it. You barely lifted your hand, a lesser dog got excited. Pet, pet. I almost died. You won, you're in zero experience and zero gold. Yeah, that hurts a lot. The convenience of that lamp still feels you with determination. Alright, last thing. Can I not go back here? Huh? There's a camera hidden behind the sentry. I knew there was going to be. I knew it! Alright guys, next time on Let's Play Undertale. I think this is a decent sized episode. We'll be moving further into the underground. There's a lot of snow here and there's skeletons and dogs and it's weird and I love it. So, as we get attacked by the snow drake, I'll see you guys next time.